Right then, welcome back. Uh, yes, we're still in the Corvette. No, I don't feel guilty about it. Um, this, I'm recording this the night before the update on the 25th of May. I've just read through the text file. Ooh, ooh, ooh. cheeky, cheeky monsieur. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be some rapid, rapid cars produced now. All the tuning, goodies, everything. Absolutely what we want. Um, Forza did that very well. You can stick a daft engine in a car, put twin turbos on it, four wheel drive, and just go mad. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, it does the same. Obviously, the physics engine is slightly different, but you know, we'll get there. We are at Watkins Glen on the long course. We're going to do five laps. Um, just the one event today to get the annual daily marathon kind of ticket job are done. Um, and you know the drill by now. We'll. We'll go to the cockpit, we'll do five laps. Uh, hopefully we'll win, because we've not done this event yet. Uh, and that's about it, so let's go. So far, still a bit of understeer. I say a bit of understeer, a lot of understeer, but it's quick. I mean, 160, jeez, go on. The question is, where do you brake? I'm still not 100% on a lot of the braking markers. Still. Oh, the understeer. The steering was going crazy. Forza, we had it down to a T on this. Not quite the same. seconds to the leader. Bit of Jocelyn. He's not going to stick that around the outside, is he? He has as well. Made the difference when we got on the gas. Quick corner in the right car. I mean, this has got, it's got sports softs on. It could really do. It could really do with slicks. It is. It's quick enough. It's got enough downforce as well. You're going to switch back to the inside. I'm going to switch to the outside. Old Corvette. Oh, go cool. on. You go on. Thank you. Eight and a half seconds. We should. We should be okay. I make a whole of it like we did at Laguna and we'll be fine. So with these ultimate the ultimate tuning section, obviously they're the goodies that you get sometimes on the roulette tickets. Does that mean we can sell the ones we've got now? Or do we just have to remove them? I'm not sure. Obviously they've got a value now, haven't they? They're worth something, because you can buy them in the shop. I keep forgetting to check. I've got an absolute pile of parts, 30 odd, and I just never remember that they're there. Like a little stash that you never go back and sort out. A couple of engines as well. Seem to get the the uh, the Nismo GTR lump all the time. That's in the I think it's a Group Three engine. I can't remember the code of it. Probably just get it wrong anyway. So, oh, we're in there a bit hot. Gonna come back underneath us. Hold it around the outside. Goodbye, young man. Well, I say young man, Canadian. I do like them Vipers in blue, they are a good looking car in blue, especially that model as well. Is that a 
the latest one. Yeah, good looking car that. Well, yeah, that's um, that's smashed them to pieces, isn't it? Don't crash. Oh, I'd like that bit of the track. That left, right, left, right, left. Very good. Sorry, right, left, left, right. I'll get it right or left eventually. Car feels stiff. Feels like it needs just a little bit of rigidity taken out of it. Drop the spring rates, get it moving a bit more. Mind you, that probably overload the tyres, but. It is nice for the immersion, it does make it a bit more involving when we're not running the infotainment or the sorry the infographic at the bottom. So as you want gear in and revs and speed and fuel that but there's no fuel and tire wear on these races, that's why I don't run it. If we do a race where there's fuel and tire wear then I'll put it back on. I still use the cockpit apart from the group one cars, the LMP ones and stuff like that, they're a nightmare. Can't see anything. Still two laps left. Holy moly. Yeah, you get it out, get it offline, like get it on the marbles or going a bit too hot. She just likes to understeer. It's gonna be awful going back to this at 600 to do a couple of the championships. You've got to do the trial mounted cup. We'll do the 600 one as well. There's another 600 series to do. I don't think I can enter the turbo sports car. Supercharger on it. I'll have a look though. Oh dear me, don't get on that. Abuse them curves. Don't get out there. What do they call it on the on the oval races stuff into out, out on the grey where the track's just not quite rubbered in. You feel it as well, the steering wheel goes dead. Absolutely dead. Ten second lead, holy shit. We are we are flying. On the steer, that'll be third gear then. Possibly, might be second. Gearbox. Now oh, on, let's have a fast lap at the end. See if the aero gets rid of this understeer. No is the answer. Geared. It's close to that barrier, shit.
steep that as well. Again, flattens it out a little bit. If you watch any of the endurance racing, the IMSA Championship across in America, it's a steep old hill that. The monsoon as well. Oh. All nighters watching Le Mans. Yeah, we're not going to go quicker than we've already gone, so. Well, that's this one done. I would say that that is a uh, relatively easy win. Um, yeah, we've won by uh, almost a country mile. Oh, there you go. Um, well, that'll do for this one. Uh, next time, I don't have a clue. Um, because there's going to be the update, there'll be new cars. I think there's two new menu books. Um, so we'll have to... Have a little bit of a diddle and see, but I'm going to try and get these transferred across and get them out later on this week. So what's today? 24, so 25th, 26th, something like that. Uh, but fingers crossed, we'll see. I'll still, I've got terabytes of stuff to put out as well, so I'll mix the two together and we'll we'll get it all sorted out. But yeah, but thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all the usual jazz. Um, and fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.